Good evening, everybody. It's Tuesday, although I have no idea what day it is. I'm just all over the place. We're a bit, a little bit later this evening because I've been to a committee meeting for my boys' Ecadets. First one, so that was quite cool. And uh, yeah, it's made us a bit a little bit late, but we haven't got too many to show you tonight. If anyone pops on or catches the replay, what have you been up to today, Vicky? Back to work? Uh, yeah, meetings. Um, I had to have a staff meeting today. I got another meeting tomorrow, so it's like I've chilling and throwing to different sites, but keeps me out of mischief, as they say. It does, keeps you busy. You're a busy lady, anyway, aren't you? I am, yes. And I've just been sat making um, some earrings. So. Oh, was it earrings? Oh, I saw earrings, that yeah. post and I was like, oh, I was like, is it the charm bracelet? I think I wrote charm bracelet. They look lovely. Yeah, I decided to make some earrings. So I don't normally do earrings, but I've got some ear wires and I just thought, oh, you know what, I'll do a few. So. Everyone has to have Christmas earrings at Christmas. Hello, Hello Vicky, Hello. how are you doing? So we've got, we've got a couple, we've got a few on. I thought we wouldn't, Ooh, I thought yeah. we'd miss you all tonight because I was a bit, a little bit later than I normally would be. Is it me tomorrow? Yeah, because I'm not around tomorrow. It's Leah's birthday. Although she's <laughs> off college sick at the moment. She's I guess say she's feeling up. better. She looks a little bit better tonight. Um, she looked really rough yesterday. Um, and um, she's not going to placement tomorrow because obviously... She doesn't need to be coughing all over the children and things like that. So in the nursery, so um, she'll probably go back to college on Thursday. So yeah, it's not very often my kids are ill, but when they're ill, they're usually um, either you know really ill with a fever and you know sickness or whatever, um, or they get really really heavy colds, and that's yeah. what they are they are coughing all. So oh bless her! I hope she feels better for her birthday. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a birthday tomorrow, so it's like. Oh. Yeah, a bit of a dampener really so we, we had plans to go out tomorrow night but we probably won't now we'll probably do it the weekend to give the Tom to become a proper yeah. so oh bless her well I hope she has a lovely day shall we crack on we certainly can so uh, could we have first the children's Christmas personalised place settings please okay so I've got the wheel going round and round oh no it's come up it's alright <laughs> what have you been doing Amy and Vicky have you been crafting have you been busy oh there's, there's quite a few there's four on now so tell us tell us what you've all been up to if you've been crafting or shopping for Christmas or is there anything that you're looking for Christmas let us know yeah, I really need to get organised now I've not even thought about it properly and it's not that far away now is it about no. six weeks or something Crazy. I haven't bought any main <laughs> ones. Doll is on and Vicky is in bed keeping warm. I tell you what, it's freezing. I've just come back from this meeting. Yeah. I've let the dog out and he's not coming in and it's cold. Yeah, I'll just have to go and grab my cards again. So it's like Amy's closed. been that afternoon tea today. What's after what have you been doing at afternoon tea? I've been that busy, I haven't really been able to catch up with what's people doing. <laughs> okay, so this is Maddie's Vinyl Boutique, isn't it? It is. It's Maddie's Vinyl Boutique, and this is one of her children's personalised place settings, Christmas ones. Um, this is priced at £10. Now, in this set, you get the coaster, and you also get the plate um, placing. Um, so, yeah, it consists of a placemat and a coaster. Um, they are a great addition to your child's Christmas Eve box. So again, if you're planning to do a Christmas Eve box for your little ones, um, something like this, which is personalised, would be an ideal addition to that. Uh, these are made from hardboard and can be wiped clean after use. Uh, the placemat measures 23 centimetres by 19, uh, and the coaster measures 9 by 9 centimetres. So all you need to do is just let Maddie's Vinyl Boutique know what personalisation you require and you can put that in the little box at checkout. And she will do her very best to accommodate um, anything that you would like on there. Um, so I think that, that is really sweet. I know she does a few different designs in her shop. Um, I just think they're just really sweet. They are colours. Um, and that's an unusual snow lady. 
So um, I like it. I like the you. name on the sign, Vicky. Yeah, your name on the sign there. That's so cute. The kids should have all the Christmas stuff, shouldn't they? I all my kids have like the Christmas mugs and the Christmas and yeah. stuff. I, I think, think you should. I, I was just thinking it keeps that magical, doesn't it? For them, it's like you know, have something personalised, and you know, it's just it's just really nice. Have a quick look. What we're so, saying? Oh, have you done? No. Yeah, no. That's yeah, cute. I just look in the um comment she's her aim is really sh i think they're shattered but you've got to get up at 6 30 for a fair doll is oh. literally just been doing my christmas album on facebook thanks to the awesome heads up from the ever delicious dame oh yes you need to get yours done you need to get yes, them done. one of the reminders in our central box today was have you shared your christmas album recently and i was shocked when dolly said i've not even got one yet <gasps> the most organized person i know and she said i haven't even done mine yet She's a busy shocked. lady. Very, very busy lady. Um, Dolly, I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm doing shops. I'm pretty sure you're one of them. I have to have a look. Uh, there's three people. Yes, I think it is. I had a look tonight and she's one of them tomorrow. Definitely. Yeah, I can't, yeah. Remember. I can't remember now. Um, I'll have a quick look the next, when we put the next one up, but um, yeah. they are cool, Amy, and it was a friend's birthday. Oh, it's good to have a get-together. You haven't either. Amy hasn't done her... I have got mine. It's from last year, so once you've got one, you just can tweak it. Come on. Come on. And I want to go... I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to do some Meet the Makers with the Christmas music on we did last year. That went so well, so... Get ready for that. I know Dolly and Amy, you're always up for it. You can do it as well. I can yeah. do it with you. We can start doing a bit of Christmas love, I'm sure. Okay. Right. right, next sort of thing. Could we have the Lazy Engraved um, Slate Photograph Art, please? Yeah, we sure can. It's just taking slow. It's being slow. <laughs> There we go. Fabulous, thank you. So, this is a laser engraved slate photograph heart, and it is from BA Custom Creations. Uh, it's priced at £13. Um, so, it's a brilliant gift for friends and family. These are all cut and engraved onto natural slates, and as a result, the size of the finished product may vary. And obviously, with something like this, you are going to get something totally unique because you're going to put um, one of your beautiful treasured photographs and uh, fabulous memories onto it. Uh, so it's a totally unique gift for whoever you are going to give it. Um, obviously, you could also get one for yourself. You don't necessarily have to gift it to someone else. Um, popular options for these hearts are wedding or bridal photography, pet photographs, um, holiday snaps or any other memorial pictures that you would like on there. So again, they're ideal for things like Christmas, Valentine's Day and anniversaries. Um, so they are all laser etched individually. So again, maybe slightly different um, and they're going to be different anyway because you're going to put your, your own unique um, photographs and things on to them. Um, the, only, the, the only thing with these is it's use photos only. Text cannot be added um, on these. Um, so it is just literally um, a photograph. Um, they are approximately 15 centimetres in height um, and also have a piece of twine attached or hanging. So another beautiful way to keep um, memories. They're gorgeous. Get your favourite photographs. Oh. Oh, I love these because they can be permanently hung up. Whereas if you've got a photo album and all your photographs are shoved in an album, how often do you get that album out of the bookcase or a drawer or a cupboard? Whereas if you're all um, you know, so probably only someone comes around and you, someone jogs your memory, you know, I'll get a photo album out yeah. of that. And when the kids like. Might get my night when the kids are like, oh, and I say, oh, you saw a haircut like you, Amber, or whatever, and they're like, no, you didn't. I'm like, yeah, there you are. And you don't often do it, but I do love those hearts. I think they're also yeah. that's a good price. Um, at work, the managers have decided that in December we're going to have like a team away day event. Oh, that's and we've cool. got to take, we've got to take 
we've got to take um, certain things. We can wear Christmas jumpers, um, and we've been told that they're going to have like um, a guess the baby photo competition. So we've all got to find photographs of ourselves when we were babies, and then we've got to guess who is who. I've done something like that before, and it could be great fun trying to guess who people are. We, so we, we did that on the book page, on. didn't we? I'll have to write my mum's teens in her house because a lot of the photographs from when we were little are in old quality street or Rosie's chocolate teens from decades ago. And oh, all of you know, the best photos are in these teens and every now and again when we need them for something. We go, Mum, where's the teen photographs? And there they come. I really enjoyed doing that on the book page when we were sharing the yeah. stories and stuff. That was good fun. Like, the ideal for those those kinds of photographs. Instead of having them just shoved in a, a drawer or a you know, a chocolate tin or whatever. She used to have one team for photographs and one team for the buttons and ribbons and all kinds of things like that. Yeah, my my um all oh, my mum's all stuffs are in boxes and tins and things. Um, Dolly says, holy moly, very excited, just on the MP sorting some bits. I just had a quick look when I put the heart up. It is a, it's Dale with chocolate. It's yeah. yourself and it's marvellous engravings tomorrow. So that would be awesome. Uh, Amy is trying to, hoping to list some chat. I can't get my words out. It's been a really long day. Santa chalkboards and Vicky has managed to list some glass fused pendants. Awesome. And after I've done this, I'm going to go on and um, get them all published for you. It is a lovely way to save a memory. And um, Amy doesn't like your baby photos. I look like a bouncing ball with hair bow on. I saw one of yours when we did it on the page. You look lovely. You look lovely. Yeah. I like the old things. photos. Right. With the old photos, we all look kind of gingery, don't we? <laughs> it's that sort of colour, isn't it? But I think yeah. you probably were anyway, weren't you, Amy? There are a lot of photographs around me with big bows in my hair as well. So you weren't the only one, anyway. I had lots of bows. <laughs> dog's doing that. He's gone a bit nuts. In fact, in a lot of the school photographs, you could not see me because I was sort of behind another child. All you could see was my hair bow. You couldn't actually see what happened. <laughs> we need to see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, right, next. Oh, can we have the little hearts bespoke wanky, please, by, from by Hook by Yarn by Lisa? Oh, it's taking forever. What is going on? There we go. Thank you. Right, so this is um, a little hearts bespoke hand crocheted baby blanket. Um, it is priced at £25 and it's run by Hook by Yarn by Lisa. Um, the colours used in this version are Heather, Baby Blue and Cream. However, customers can choose um, any particular colour combination um, to suit their own requirement. Um, you can choose either three, four or five colours for a completely unique baby blanket. Um, you can also decide on the colour of the accent border, so that doesn't have to be cream, which is in, in this particular um, photograph. Um, you can also request um, any size to, to your requirements, and the blanket can easily be customised for either a boy or a girl. Um, this particular one in the photograph measures 26 inches by 32, so it's an ideal size for a cramp or a cot. And the wool use is 100% premium acrylic and it is machine washable um, at 30 degrees. So gorgeous little blanket there for you little ones. We actually saw Lisa's uh, work at the Hamay Festival and she's awesome. She came along on the Sunday, didn't she? I was there on the Saturday. I know she came on the Sunday. She sat doing the mandalas. She did. She was absolutely awesome. Gorgeous. I I'm hoping she's going to put the man. Picture. I'm hoping she's going to put the mandalas up, mandalas on a shop because they're so cool. They are nice. She has such it's a lot of a variety of colours, but I bet she can make them really quickly as well. But she's uh, oh yeah, well, she did. Yeah. She did like a well, Christmas one. You can build the speak, aren't you? So. Yeah, I couldn't do it. I was like, wow, and people were coming and watching her, but I um. She did, she did like a Christmas one, it had like glittery stuff in it. Good evening, Di, how are you? She demoed for us. She was so quick. She was quick, Amy, she was unbelievable. 
Really, really cool. Oh, I'm going to have to get the dog out. I don't know what's going on with my girls. Keep it in practice. Right. You're going to make me sit in the cold again, aren't you? Oh, God. That'd be crazy. I think it's because Molly's gone. He goes a bit funny when Molly's gone. He knows. He's looking for her. He knows when she goes because she gets the bag out and he and he, yeah. smells it and he just knows. Bless him. Right, next up, oh. can I have the Rudolph baubles, please? You certainly can. One, yeah, that's it. Round one. Yeah. Clear one. But nowhere on it. So these are from Seahorse Creations, um, priced at seven pounds. Now it says you get two, two personalised Rudolph Ball keepsakes. Um, they are handmade to order from acrylic, vinyl, and ribbon. They're perfect for hanging on the trees, at windows, or just hanging from a wall. Or you could even use them as a table decoration if you so wish to. They're a perfect gift idea for children and adults. Um, and let's face it, who doesn't love Rudolph? Or just oh, Rudolph, then knows. Um, so each piece is unique and made to order. Uh, they measure eight centimetres in width. Um, and it says you get two. So, yeah, she, that's right. Yeah, she do, you do get two. I'm just looking at one of the other photographs because there's one that is a star shape, so I'm going to assume you get one of each shape. Um, so you get a circle, circular one, and a star one. That's awesome, price, and they're so cool. I think I'm going to get some of them with my grandson on it. They are. I've got a thing about um about DR. They're really they're not kind of my favourite Christmassy character is the DR. Yeah. Or a lot of stack things as well. Um, so I think they're really sweet. So yeah, great bargain. That is if you get if you get two for that, that's brilliant. Amy said to Di that she's going to list her dream catcher tomorrow, and uh, Di said that's quick. Amy doesn't hang about. I tell you what, she is a legend with those dream yeah. catchers. How many would you do in a day for the festival, Amy? It was a lot, wasn't it? Can't remember now, but she was I I don't know, she's doing loads a day, wasn't she? Can you remember? Was she making them? As she was make, sat there? Yeah, no, before the festival. She was getting um, more ready and she was I can't remember how many a day she was doing, but she was she was uh, Oh, I can't remember how many she did. I remember seeing her sat there doing a live and she was doing the rebirth and the, <laughs> the wedding. <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. Fifteen yeah. hoops a day, there you go. 15 hoops a day. Right. That's crazy, oh, man. What? Absolutely. Oh, that, is that is a lot. You'd be like okay. smoke coming from your, uh, from your, uh, what, I don't know what you call it, the hoop, I suppose. The hoop and everything. Like, like, Shiny I would be like, oh, my hands are hurting. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Who would you like next? Right, next up, can we have the Nativity tea lights, please? I took I've not seen these before, and these are gorgeous. I took just the one picture because I thought I could blow it up like that, and it looks ace, look, look. Because there's two oh. actually on the Heart of Zan listing, isn't there? Yeah. Wow. I think mean, these are absolutely stunning. I've not seen these before. So these are hand-decorated Nativity tea lights. They are six pounds, and they are from CCBG Handcrafted Gifts. Um, so it's a perfect decoration for a traditional Christmas, but with a modern twist. Uh, they measure out four and a half inches tall. They are hand decoupaged um, and decorated with a vinyl nativity silhouette, finished off with a diamante effect ribbon, uh, because we all need a bit of sparkle and bling. Um, a flickering LED tea light is included um, because obviously these are much safer than a traditional tea light. Um, so they are not recommended for use with real candles. So you must make sure you use the LED tea lights. Um, and I just think that is a beautiful, beautiful ornament to have 
um, out at Christmas. It's just something I've not seen one like that before. I ha- I've seen, obviously, we, we've seen quite a lot of jars and stuff, but I've never seen the diamante on the top like that. No, not exactly that, with that traditional nativity scene either. Yeah. You get lots of you know, robins Best and flies. animals and, you know, the, the normal, um, yeah. but not a traditional nativity scene. So I think that's, that's really something quite sweet. I was having a mm-hmm. look at them last night, and Amy says they're really different. They are, Amy. They're really gorgeous. Yeah. I'm just going to have to get the phone. Okay. okay. It's my boy. Yeah, it is really unusual to see something um, like that. Hello. I, don't know I wonder if it's going to be changing. That's right. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. People understand his family, isn't it? My son rings me when he gets uh, when he leaves our cadets. Oh, that's that's it. Uh, so talking, I'm talking about um, gorgeous Christmas make sack on the uh, right. marketplace. Who do you like next? I'm gonna have the titanium ring, please. Are you home? Are you? Stay on the phone then. There we go. Fabulous, thank you. So next up we have this gorgeous titanium ring uh, with a plum crazy purple lining and double groove. Now this is from Peacefield Titanium and it's priced £119. But what a gorgeous, gorgeous ring is that. Uh, that's a fantastic um, anniversary gift maybe. Um, so it's, it's made from titanium. Um, and it has a double offset groove which gives it a one of a kind look um, it also has a satin finished exterior um, this is done by uh, the method of anodizing which is not a paint or a dye but an electrolyth- electrolytic process I'll be able to say that one day I'll keep trying um, so yeah this can be used as a wedding band or makes a great birthday or anniversary gift Whatever the occasion, then a uh, piece of titanium has a ring for it. Now, I know they've got lots of um, different colours available and they're bringing new colours out um, all the time as well. Now, these rings, uh, the one picture is featured is a 6mm wide uh, ring. Um, however, you can choose a 5, 6, 7 or 8mm ring. Um, and they are offered in US sizes um, 5 to 13. Um, and there's no difference in price, um, no matter what size ring you have. Sometimes with things like these, the bigger the, the ring size, the more um, the higher the price. But that's not the case with these. Um, now, as I said, they're US size fittings, but um, they can convert them into UK ring sizes. You just need to contact them. They'll talk you through how to measure correctly and be able to do that conversion for you. And I just think they're, they're just something totally different. Um, I've not seen anything like this before um, when it came to hard design. So it's just really nice to have something totally unique. Sorry, I've got Di's comments stuck on the Hello, on hello the board. Seattle. By Al City. My boy's going to be pretty loud now, aren't you, Di? Yeah. I found I uh, Hello Hi, Seattle Dad. by um, Owl City. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I've heard it. Hey, when they was in the meeting today, Zach, they talked all about you um, fainting and hitting on the um, drum. drum. <laughs> oh, well. He's all right now, though, aren't you? Yeah, of course. You're yeah. right, lad, don't you? you? He you is a great lad. Feel you do. Well done. Well done. Oh, hi, Dale. We were just talking about you tomorrow. You know when we do the three shop, we ought to call it three shop show or something. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be you tomorrow along with Dolly and Marvellous Engravings yeah. trying to get ready for bed then darling because it's school in the morning yeah yeah she'll have a drink did you see me did you see me which one would you like um, um, so the last one I've got there is the boots, boots by the 29th tell me after I finish darling Oh look, that's me in 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 in, 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 in print. Can't get any words. 
It's me in print. Your name in lights, as they say. <laughs> so the last item we have today then is this fantastic book, which Christy spent months and months writing, painstakingly putting it together. <laughs> months and months. I think I did it in two. Shh, don't tell everybody. But, <laughs> but, so we've had, you know, in fairness, I'm going to put that there. In fairness, it was, it's not just mine. My story was very easy. It was more um, getting everyone else's stories and putting it together so it actually sort of flowed together. And obviously, I had Dolly's help as well. Yeah. And, and um, sort of collating all that information before you then sat down and wrote it. Was, and put it all yeah. So it did take quite a while. Um, so, yeah, so I don't know whether you want to talk about this, Chrissy, because this is your novel. So if you want to tell everybody about it, what it's about. Yes. What is it on there for now? I can't remember whether I put the price back or not. Uh, it's on for eleven ninety nine. That is the right price then. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the reason I wrote this book, and there will be others, is because, obviously, I've... Hold on. I started my business, um, and it's all about my... How I started my business, all about Zach, who's behind me. Come and say hi, Zach. Zach features a lot in this book. Zach, he's dancing. <laughs> oh, bless you. So Zach features a lot in this book, don't you? You're the very start of my business journey, and it was all about how I set my business up, how I sold, um, how I got selling in um, large shops like Robert Dias, and how I've been getting... <laughs> he's dancing there. You're putting me off me. <laughs> Go and have a drink. What I, what I love about your journey, Lucy, is that Zach is obviously the inspiration behind your business club bear company. Um, but he's also your tester. He loves to test all your products out. And if they don't get the thumbs up, that's it. Yeah, but, you know, you've got approval. a fantastic supporter there. Um, yeah. Zach testing all your product, products for you. Yeah, so we were a very sleep deprived family and um, we come up with the cuddle bed when I got sick myself and he was diagnosed all in the same year. It was a bit of a rubbishy year. And then a couple of years after that, I come up with this multifunctional one that actually needs manufacturing, which I'll come back to one day. And he chose everything on that. And BBC wow. came out and filmed us and everything in the unit. That was really cool. Uh, won quite a few awards. Won Dragoness is Den. All about how, and, and Vicky know this, how we managed to get these awards, how to start shouting about them. So at the end of each chapter, I should have brought the book in with me really, but you can see it there. At the end of each chapter, there's something called uh, How To, Cartesan How To, and that will be a, that could be a reference on how to do Twitter, Instagram, all that sort of stuff at the end of each chapter. So it's not only to inspire and motivate, it's to help you as well. But the next one will all be about a program that we're starting in January, which is really exciting as well. Exciting. And what I love is that I love this line here. Build your creative business the heart of some way where crafts and minds meet for success. I love that. Love that Do segment. you? That, that's what it is, you know. We all come together. We all learn so much. Um, you know, you've given us a lot of knowledge, which we then in turn pass on to the creatives. Um, and we just see ourselves grow, we see other people grow, and it, it is, it's just a wonderful community of us, and I love it, I love being part of it all, I really do. Oh, I yeah, it too. I mean, obviously, we have our moments, don't we? Success, that's what it's all about. It is. Oh, it is again. We have our, yeah, we have our moments and we get, you know, like everyone else, we have our difficulties, our ups and downs, but we are really close and um, we do help each other and that's what we're here for. The marketplace itself... <laughs> On the side, side, he's having it through it, so. Yeah. yeah. And the marketplace so, itself. You, is... learn, you want to learn how to grow your business, how to learn why, and purchase this book. Yeah. Um, and good read. Yeah, I was just going to say the, the marketplace itself is only a very small part of it. There's all the other bits that go with it, so that's why we have the packages and, and it tell, tells you all about Heart as because that's part of my journey as I come through my business journey. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so... And these... This wreath is from Bernadette Rosenquest, who has a shop called Unique Handcrafted Chic. And um, my daughter took that picture. My daughter did the... It's a very family thing we've got. 
yeah. my daughter did all the graphics and um, put the front cover together and the back cover, which is it awesome. Is nice. Yeah. And every single one of those flowers is handmade. Hand yeah. cut and handmade. So yeah, and the white, the coloured ones, not the coloured ones, sorry, the creamy coloured ones are books. Book yeah. pages. Very, very clever. Yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's everything for tonight. Let's have a quick look at... Um, yes, yeah. It's a good job, really, because look how late we are. Just have a look. Oh, don't worry about being late. We're actually late on today, Dale. I was in a meeting. Uh, he is a trooper. He is a trooper. And they were saying that in there. They said there's always one that faints every year. And they said, and we had one this year. And I went, yeah, that was my son. Oh, <laughs> and they, they said the fire brigade. I, I wasn't at that bit. I was at the second one. And they said the fire brigade came over and everything. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, bless him. Bless him. <laughs> he said to me, he thought it was someone else that fainted. He, he, he just, it just was very weird. He said, very weird experience. <laughs> oh, bless. Leave our open carriage on the little truth. Oh, bless him. Yeah, they took him off detail, so he wasn't in the band for that one. Uh, but when he went to the second one, he got his drum back. Um, such an awesome read. Thank you, Amy. Um, the excitement and the anticipation of the event, isn't it? And it probably just, yeah, all the excitement. Got and they stand, they stand there for such a long time. That's what it yeah. is. They just stand there. And they're like Amy said, they're, they're told to wiggle their toes in their boots. Yeah. He that can be in his own little world sometimes. He's probably, he's yeah. probably just away somewhere. <laughs> oh. I use it as a reference for Twitter and tips on growing my business. Do you know what, Amy? I still pick that book up and um, go back and look at the Twitter hours and stuff when I need to do it. So I still use it myself. And obviously we launched that at um, Kirsty Ossop's festival with them. Um, Dale's amazing cake. I'll never forget that cake. And do you know that balloon, Dale? I only I only um, took it away. Um, I've still kept the bits of it though, because there's memories in it. But it was in my kitchen until last week. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, the last part of the world that I know is um, he, 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 he months, knows. nearly three months in my kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining us. Have a lovely evening off tomorrow, Vicky. Thank you. And are we back? Are we back Thursday and Friday, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, and then we need some of you lovely ladies and gents to come and show your stuff off, and we can do our Christmas hats and go. Ho, ho, ho. It worked um, really well. It worked really well last year. I need to put some. It. I need to put some um, posts up. Could you put one up in the artisan toolbox? I know we've done one. Yeah, can I do? Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Oh, uh, must just see that's another comment come up. We did such an epic launch. It was an epic launch. It was one of those moments, wasn't it? Because you were there, weren't you? Yes. yes. It was an absolutely brilliant moment. Our uh, next thing is obviously getting on the telly. I find out yeah. tomorrow if it be this year or not. A chanta, here we come. <laughs> I can't wait to do some lies from there. Wouldn't it be great? It'd be awesome. What are you up for? Oh, you're up for the um, getting the Christmas music going and getting the Christmas hats on. I'm really yeah. good. There we got one to go. So we, perhaps we can organise them for next week. Do a little less yeah. um, of the news and then do a bit more. Yeah, I'll get a poster up to see if we can get some volunteers to, to come on the shelves there stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Christmas Day. And Christmas I think... Spirit, I'm I think the last thing I was going to say is I'm pretty sure tomorrow our fabulous Sue Frecken Frecklington from Granny Maud and the Old Grump is with the Janome um, thing that she won with one of the Stuart somebody. Who's oh, a, yeah, she won a competition, didn't she? Yeah, yes. gets a training day and stuff. And I was like, take lots of pictures, get a video. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> get it in the paper. Yeah, so that's awesome. So hopefully we'll hear lots about that tomorrow and uh, we'll be able to talk about it a bit on Thursday, maybe. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Or now she's gone. She'd be incredible, wouldn't she? They're so inspired. She will, definitely. 
All right, then I'm going to make sure my little tribe's in bed. Um, okay. I doubt if they are. And I'll see you tomorrow, but Vicky won't. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye-bye.